Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another video. And uh, today's video is yet another limited run games unboxing video. Uh, I only have three this time, but I felt, I felt like that each package was big enough and significant enough that it would could warrant its own video. And I get so anxious about wanting to open all these. So like, I'm like I don't want to wait too long because I don't know when the next thing's going to come. Could be weeks from now, could be months from now. Uh, but a lot has come uh, pretty rapidly uh, down the line. Um, like in the last video, I think I had four packages, and then just a couple weeks later, I have more. So it's pretty cool. Um, so here are the three that I have today. There's this really big one, and then not as big one, and then an even smaller one. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to start with the one that I received first, which was this one. And... Already off the bat, uh, already knowing what these are and actually remembering, because a lot of the time when I do these, I sit on them for so long where I forget which ones they are, what's in which one. I'm like, uh, what? So it, it kind of makes it fun in a way because that makes it like a surprise even for me because everybody else, it's a surprise, obviously, because you don't know what I've ordered. Uh, but for me, it makes it almost a surprise too because I forget so easily. Uh but right off the rip, with this one and this little one here, um, I'm already getting a sense of disappointment because of one of the things that I know that is in each one of these. And I thought they were going to be a lot bigger. Um, to my knowledge, when I ordered them, I don't think they said what the dimensions of it were going to be, obviously. Because most of the time... Because it's, it's not a game. It's obviously game-related. It's from Limited Run. But... Um, both of these things are, are not games, but the collectibles for games. And from what I remember, they did not disclose how big they were going to be. They just had the price tag. Um, so for, at least for this one specifically, I was really hoping it was going to be a lot bigger than this. Because it's just in one of these more flat uh, boxes for standard edition games. If you like order a couple of them, they'll usually co come in one of these. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, like, quality-wise and uh, size-wise and everything. But first things first, got to get handy-dandy Buxcoter to open the box. Okay, so on top we have a Switch game. And I was really curious about this because I have never seen anything like it, really. And I honestly don't know much about it. I just saw one of the a couple of the screens... Uh, I think the same three on here are what they use for the description on Limited Run, like to show you what the game's kind of like. And one of them is like an old point and click PC game, almost like a child's PC game, like Putt Putt or uh, Pajama Sam or any like any of those games. Uh, but that is called There Is No Game Wrong Dimension for the Switch. Yeah. But this is the still that I'm talking about right here. I don't know. It just looks interesting. And then you have like a Zelda top-down view and everything. I don't know. I just thought this game looked kind of neat. So I went for it. So there's that. And then inside of the paper... Voice crack. <laughs> okay, so they, they... They they have done this before, so obviously cannot be too mad about that. Um, so here's the card for There Is No Game, which I have heard. I saw the uh, little newsletter they did for Limited Run. They are doing away with trading cards. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I could give a crap less about the trading cards. Like, they're kind of cool, but um, they said, like, a majority of the pro Not a majority, but, like, a big part of the process uh, that takes so much time is getting the cards made because of how many, like different card games and stuff are being manufactured. I'm sure card companies are like super backed up, I think is what they said. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Correct me. But um, that was like one of the issues they were having was getting the cards printed out in time for things to get shipped uh, in a timely process and everything. And uh, so now they're just doing away with them just to cut that time out. So you know what? That's fine with me. Uh, but the game that I... Uh, so the thing I got, sorry, I'm trying to get everything together. So this game, the thing I got goes with this game. So you'll know what it is when I show it. But uh, that is the limited run version of Toki Tori on the Game Boy Color. I've never played Toki Tori. 
I remember seeing it in a book of all things. Um, the uh, 1001 video games you must play before you die. I remember I got that book years ago and I would just flip through it and flip through it, flip through it, just like look at every single game. Any one that I had interested in, I would sticky note it. And because uh, I never had like a place to put it, I, I probably could have put it in like a Word document and a computer or something, but I, I don't know. I was a stupid kid. I didn't think of that. So I just like sticky noted everything. Uh, but this was one of those games. Toki Tori was in there. And then another game that's a little similar. It's called uh, New Zealand Story, I believe. And it has another little bird character, but he's got big shoes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of like the, the 3D render of the Toki Tori. I don't know. It's got that early 2000s look that I absolutely love, like the bubbly 3D kind of not the greatest quality, but still, I don't know, just has like a charm to it. So I really like that. Um, and then I ended up getting the soundtrack with it. At first, I was like, oh, why didn't the soundtrack come in the game like a box set? Because it's supposed to be like a Game Boy game. So like you just get the game itself like it is. Which, there, like I said, there's been other games that have done that. There's been plenty of games that I've gotten that uh, the soundtrack comes separately. And there's the card. So, the Peace Day Resistance. We got the Toki Tori plush. Wow. <laughs> $27 for this little thing. Are you serious? <laughs> Not even a tag. Not even a tag that says Toki Tori on it so you know what it is, what it's from, anything. Okay, so note to self, never buy a plush from Limited Run. Don't do it. <laughs> note to anybody else out there do not buy a plush from limited run this is a ripoff um i like collecting plushes i've shown some plushes that i've gotten over uh the course of me having this channel but i have a lot more plushes i have a ton of video game related plushes I like collecting them so when i saw the opportunity to get a character and another one we'll see later I was super hyped about it. I was like, oh, a plushie for Toki Tori? All right. And I was thinking, you know, maybe like this big, maybe a little smaller, like at least a, like, I don't know, like an eight to nine inch plush, maybe. But this is like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. Third, I can, for almost this exact same price, I can get one of these. Hang on, let me grab it. For almost the same price, I can get one of these things. This is like 30 bucks, I think. Two bucks more. I could get two or three dollars more. I can get one of these. And I get this. That's And the quality is not great. It looks like a UFO crane plushie. Just kind of... Sorry, I'm ranting. This is just really disappointing. I'm sorry. For any of you that are excited to have this, more power to you. Um, I'm glad that you're happy with this. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not happy with how that turned out. Okay. Um, sorry. Sorry for the rant. I'll shut up. Go to the next one. Okay. So now that I've seen that, I have to see this one. So open the little one, which is the most recent one. Okay. Same deal, pretty much. Not as bad. Uh, anyways, so show the game first that I got. Uh, Tetris Effect connected for the switch i played a little bit of tetris effect on the ps4 a couple years ago and never really expected them to do a physical version of it uh, there was a kind of a cool collector's edition uh they had one each for xbox playstation and switch and they were all different tetris excuse me tetris sized pieces i thought that was kind of cool but it was almost like a hundred dollars for the collector's edition and i was like that's ah, a bit steep I'm trying to do better about not getting every single collector's edition because more and more I've been noticing that some of them are just not worth it. <laughs> um, but for some people, this one might be worth it because Tetris is like one of the most popular game series of all time. Um, it just, to me personally, was not worth it. And I'm sure there's other ones that I have bought that every a lot of other people will be like, that wasn't worth it. But to me, it is worth it. So, you know, to each their own. Uh, so this is the other plush. And I'm more excited to have this one because it's a character that I'm more familiar with. But again, way smaller than I was expecting for the price that I paid. Which, you know, I think we all know by now, limited runs, prices are a little high 
for what you get, really. Because some of them, uh, like the collector's editions, will be like $75. And you expect it to be in like, you know, a box, like a cool, like a, you know, maybe a this size box. But it's really a this size box or smaller for $65 to $70. Anyways, uh, I ended up getting the plushie. Uh, just the plushie, not the game, because they did a re-release of the game. And I already have it. And I'm not really pressed about getting a collector's edition of this game. Uh, but that is Glover. It is a Glover plushie. He's really cool. I won't deny that. He is really cool. Um, again, he is a character I'm familiar with, so I, I'm a little biased. He even has the little symbol on his back. The star. But, uh, again, just so small. I think this one was also like 20 something dollars You can get a Mario plushie of the same size for like 13 so I'm just like, why, why? <laughs> like, it's so disappointing, uh, unfortunately. Just at least, like, to have a tag on it is just throw it in a shrink wrap bag and whatever. Just take it with you, whatever. <laughs> like, and I'm not worried about damaging it by throwing it. It's a freaking plush doll. It's not going to get damaged. But I don't know. That's just a little disheartening. It's just like they didn't really... It, it sucks because it takes forever to get this, and then this is the finished product. It's just kind of... Eh. Eh. <laughs> like, okay. It's like, I'm sure you guys... Maybe maybe it wasn't in the budget. Maybe the quality... They, they had a, an idea they wanted to go with, and it was too expensive to make, so they had to settle. I don't know. It's just a little disappointing to see how expensive this is. Plus shipping, and it's just this small i don't know just like a little bit bigger like just just like a little bit like i don't know how to express like what i'm trying to say like what i'm like to something to compare it to but just like a little bit bigger like like the wario plushie if anybody's seen like the sine wario plushie the more recent one that you can still buy in stores right now like at least if the toki tori one was that size which i don't know I guess they're supposed to be smaller characters or something, but I don't know. For the price, I, I feel like um, I got a little ripped off <laughs> just a little bit. I mean, I don't know. And if I'm wrong, I'm definitely going to hear about it because people, whenever it comes to limited run, the people love to... It, it's two, both sides of the coin. Either you really love them and they can do no wrong or you really hate them and they can do no right. So I'm sure I'll hear about it. <laughs> uh I'm just in the middle. Like, there's things that I like about them. There's things I dislike about them. And I just like collecting games. So, um, And the last box. This is probably the most exciting one. So, this is cool. Uh, to end on a high note. Okay. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that I remembered correctly what is supposed to be in here. Okay. So, we got this big old oh i can't show up because i don't spoil it i don't want to give away what it is okay uh, let's get the tape off all right so the first one is relatively small but the game itself is really cool um it's a shoot 'em up game i do like my shoot 'em ups i like collecting shoot 'em ups i like playing the shoot 'em ups so whenever they do different the different like obscure ones on limited run which i think this might be a new one sometimes i can't tell if it's like a remake of a japanese like arcade type game or if it's a new one because a lot of them have that pixelated art style and everything and uh i'm an idiot so i don't like do a whole lot of research sometimes <laughs> so uh because like the last one of the last ones i got it was from platinum games uh uh shoot i can't remember the name of it but i i do wish i would have got the collector's edition of that because i've played that since i bought it i just got the standard version it's like man i really wish i would have got the collector collector's edition um but sorry i'm just like sitting here looking at it but sorry it is super hydra i'm pretty sure is how you pronounce it it's not hydra like hail hydra from marvel it's not that hydra but uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hy Hydora. Hydora. Yeah. <laughs> There's an O in there. <laughs> so yeah. It is a shoot 'em up game. Got like the little uh, arcade cabinet thing. It's like a replica. Obviously the game itself. Soundtrack. Art book. Keychain. 
and a manual that looks like it's supposed to be mimicking a uh, either old PC manual or almost like a Sega Master System manual. But you can see screenshots there, uh, the pixelated art style, really cool, cool stuff. I do like everything about this. This is really cool. So, yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, the best out of everything that I've gotten. And these are decent sized plushes. <laughs> More plushes, I forgot. These are cool plushes. And you could definitely tell time and effort went into these ones. These ones look great. Uh, okay, so, I mean, they don't look that much bigger, but just like the stitching and the quality of the plush itself looks better. And there's two of them. And if that doesn't give it away, it is Snow Bros. The Snow Bros. Nick and Tom special. Sweet. Uh, I've always wanted to play Snow Bros. I've never played... Well, I've played like a little bit of an emulator. Uh, but I've never had a physical copy. It's kind of an expensive game. Uh, at least to my knowledge. And I know there's different versions of it that you can get. But uh, I was really wanting to get this there was a bunch of people that were like uh the art style looks eh, uh ruins the whole thing but i'm pretty sure you can play the original still so if i feel in the same boat of the graphics don't look how i would prefer i think you can just play the pixelated version i mean i could see i can kind of see what people mean like uh the art style almost kind of looks like it's like a mobile game in a way just like, sorry, I'm trying to show it the best I can, but uh, I don't know. Almost like it's uh, just cheap, I guess. It, that's like the the blunt way to put it. But it still looks really cool to me. I've always liked the character designs of the Snow Bros. Whenever I would see YouTube videos of like, oh, NES games you need to get, blah 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 blah. Snow Bros was always on there, and uh, yeah, I've always just liked them. Thought they were really cute little guys. Look at him; he's just just running around. He's like. Brrr! <laughs> the little Tom and Jerry or Flintstones sound effect. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have this one. This is the cream of the crop out of everything I've gotten today. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, the plush quality just looks better on these than the other two. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me if, if maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe this looks perfectly fine and I'm just being butthurt for no reason. But there's that, the Toki Tori. The Glover doesn't look that bad. I just think he's a little small. And then these. Like, you can... They gave him buttons on his overalls. They gave the stitching for the mouth and everything. Which, I guess, Toki Tori doesn't really have a mouth. He just has a little beak. But, I don't know. It, these just look better. These look so much better. <laughs> I like these. I'm very happy with that. So, before this gets too long, we're already at 18 minutes, 25 seconds. So... Um, yeah, so a little recap real quick. We got Snow Bros Collector's Edition. We got uh, Super Hydora, Hadora, Hadora, something like that. I can't pronounce words. Tetris Effect for the Switch. We got Toki Tori Soundtrack Edition for the Game Boy Color. Uh, and then we got... There is no game. And then the two plushies. So yeah, that is everything. So if you like these videos, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hopefully more limited run stuff will start rolling in. There's ones that I'm definitely excited for. Some of them, they've given some updates about shipping and uh, when things are supposed to be rolling out. So hopefully soon. Uh, and yeah, until the next one. See ya.